I'm the director. We're gonna set this man on fire. You're a stunt guy. We need to keep it super profesh. Profesh is my middle name. You said your middle name was Danger. Some of the dialogue, the repartee, and some of the action from The Fall Guy, which arrives in the theaters today. Remember the TV series from the 80s? If you do, loosely based on that, starring Ryan Gosling as a daredevil stunt double and working on a film that his ex is making, Emily Blunt. So there's comedy, there's mystery, there's a whole lot of action, and maybe a whole lot of fun. I don't know. We're going to find out if Eli and Jackson fell for the fell guy <laughs> or if it crashed and burned. And I'm hoping it did because I always love to watch <laughs> Eli when he hates something, Jackson, oh, when he hmm? just takes off. I think you have something nice uh, in store. <laughs> <laughs> okay, woohoo. Why don't I start with you? Good morning, good morning, good morning. first of all. Yes. What's the story here? All right, so you mentioned loosely based, very, very loosely based on the 1980s Lee Majors uh, vehicle. And speaking of vehicles, there's a certain gold and oh. brown truck. Mm -hmm. It has returned, so there's a truck. And there's a stunt man. There's and basically that's it. that that's basically <laughs> it. Ryan Gosling is Colt Seavers. And what, why don't we let Mr. Gosling uh, tell us about the story? I'm not the hero of this story. I'm just a stunt guy. I'm trying to look cool in front of the director of this movie. That's her. Who I just so happen to have a major crush on. We need to keep it super profesh. Cool. You trying to make out? Nope. Because I don't either. It's not what I'm into right now. Making out? Yeah. What are you into? Talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit of chemistry there. So let's back up. Before he arrived on the set of this big movie, Metal Storm, which is like Dune meets Mad Max, he was a stunt guy doubling for the biggest movie star in the world. There was a high wire fall and something went wrong. But before all of that, he had, like he said, he had really big feelings for Jody, played by Emily Blunt. But after this accident, he kind of ghosted her. So now he's on the set of her big break, supposed to do a big stunt for some reason. He's a little, little nervous. Let's let's take a look why. You got this. You're the one. Why are you okay? gonna say that? Why are you gonna say that? You, you've done this a million times. And so have you. You know, you just jinxed it. You just jinxed it! Hey Dan, I need to drive it in the car now, please. Hey, the tide's coming okay. up. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Is that Jody? Yes, it's Jody. Did she say something about me? Stop it. Your face? Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Winston Duke loved him from Black Panther. Wish they used more of him there. Now, we get to, like, the creamy center of this film is that kind of rom-com, that awkward tension between him and Blunt, but also there's this kind of vague mystery that this big movie star that he's supposed to double, Tom Ryder, played hilariously by Aaron Taylor Johnson, has gone missing, and so here he is in neon for some reason on the streets of Sydney <laughs> trying to find this missing movie star to save the woman he loves movie and get everything back on track. Uh, okay, so I'm lost. Is it like mystery? Is it rom-com? Is it parody? Is it comedy? Is it action? Jackson, yes. sort of out for a yes to uh, all of the above. I mean, yeah, if, I'm, if I'm thinking of the most perfect movie to reference this to, if you remember Austin Powers, oh, yes. you remember the third Austin Powers, the beginning of that movie has a movie within a movie where yeah. Tom Cruise is playing Austin Powers, that is this movie. Yeah. Okay. This movie is a meta-fictional yeah. bacchanalia of so many things going on. It's a Russian doll and inside, inside of it, oh, inside of it, inside okay. of it. And you heard Eli say, for some reason, Ryan Gosling. I think most of this movie is, for some reason, XYZ <laughs> happens. This is a fireworks display of every sort of event underneath the sun, every sort of comedic thing they could put in, every sort of action thing they could put in. And it very much is what uh, the, this director called a love letter to Star men, which you can overridingly see in how this movie plays out. This is almost a framework, a trellis, a picture frame to set up an excuse to, for some reason, have some big explosion, big fallout. And at the same time, 
trying to make a parody of Hollywood action films themselves. Yeah. And so that's why Gosling is on the set of not just any movie, but Metal Storm, mm. which is like a little bit of Dune, and you even hear a bit of the music, and a little bit of Mad <laughs> Max, and you've got Dune buggies and mm. cars, but there's aliens, and it's all supposed to be like, you know, bloated and overblown. And there is, I think, I will admit that, like, <laughs> In trying to make fun of this thing, it is that thing, that it becomes the very thing that it's attempting to mock. And is that what director David Leach is trying to so, do? Now, this is what's interesting, mm. is that I think, like, so Leach has given us Deadpool do, he did uh, Atomic Blonde, he started as a stunt guy. He was the double for Brad Pitt in Fight Club. And I think Ooh. of his movies... Good little aside. Right. Yeah. And, like, you talked about fireworks, right? I think up until now, Leach's movies are basically fireworks. Works. They're colorful, they're bright, the smoke fades, you forget about them. I think this is his best film just because finally he has something to talk about and one of the most authentic parts of this film is a tribute to the stunt people, to the men and women who go out there and sacrifice their bodies so that we can munch our popcorn and have a good time. So you have these ridiculous, over-the-top st stunts, and you get a sense of the men and p women behind the scenes trying to make all this stuff happen. And there is, as you'll see, there's a, a, a stunt in this film that is actually a record-breaking stunt where they roll a van, I think, eight and a half times. So you have these kind of amazing moments, and then you have the idea of like, there's your stunt coordinator and there's your stunt man, and that is very much the heart of, of this film. Can I throw a wet blanket on for this sure, though for, for a sure. second? <laughs> so this movie is a love letter. It is a exalting stunt yeah. man, but a movie's attempts to have a positive or uh, important message is completely separate from whether or not the movie itself is good. It's great yeah. that he loves stunt men. It's great that he celebrates that, even though I would argue that this movie more celebrates and explains away the difficulties of being a director now with Emily Blunt character and here there's all these positive things but it just does not work as a movie it's messy it's bloated and it is trying to do a lot too much all right I'm gonna counter okay we got to talk about the chemistry all right between well, I... Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling I will say yeah the love letter to stuntmen doesn't land maybe as perfectly as that van. And I think, if anything, he makes stunt people into superheroes, mm -hmm. which is kind of the opposite of saying these are the real people that deserve our praise. But I think the saving grace of this film is Gosling. I, I think Gosling is so charming and so goofy. And... Like, he can be the tough guy, he can save the day, but he also will bring down his shields and he'll show us a little vulnerability. And so you love him. And who gets hurt better than Gosling? Uh -huh. who, he's like the Charlie Brown of action heroes. And I think that and the chemistry between him and Emily Blunt as this director, these two had a thing and they lost the thing and they kind of wanted to get back together. That to me is like the chewing gum keeping this movie together. I, I'd be there just for that. It's He's kind of making yes. me think of the Oscars. When we saw them together, they have that real yeah. life chemistry. And we got a little bit of Barbenheimer going on yeah. here, but in the same movie this time, exactly. which is kind of fun. So uh, shall we pause and take a look at your number? <laughs> Let's take a look and see what the guys thought. <sighs> I think, is this maybe mine? You might not be too happy. Oh, that's No, this is mine, yeah. I think uh, Saved by Gosling. Uh, saved by Gosling. You know, big truck jump and big stars, big chemistry. So uh, there you go. I didn't love it. Ryan Gosling does save it, but <laughs> not a whole lot there to, to keep me in the theater. Uh, Jackson's Ryan like, Gosling Gosling's was... just scraping it off the oh, floor. Yeah. Basically. Did I hear Journey in the soundtrack? Oh, yeah. See, right there and then, I'm giving it at least 2.5. There, there you Guys, go. Guys, thanks so much. I love it You're when welcome. you come in together. See you next time. Thank Jackson. Weaver, right. Eli Glasner, in theaters as of today. Thanks, guys. No worries.